I have never been a city mouse. I've always been a country mouse. And I have lived in the Black Forest area for almost 50 years now. I moved here and stayed here because I just love this area. It's about 12 or 15 miles outside the city limits of Colorado Springs. For me, in the place I want to be and I want to live, it's been Black Forest, Colorado. Home is where the heart is, and my heart is outside the city, and specifically right here in the community of Black Forest. I always wanted my place of business, and, and my place of business has always been in Black Forest, but I haven't had a real sticks and stones, you know, for real office facility, and, I, and I've always wanted one. I love the area because of its quasi-remoteness to a major city, and it's still kind of a country place. I love the seclusion. I love the topography. I love the flora and fauna, as the saying goes. And so when I got ready to build a facility, I always wanted it to be here where I live. I, I wanted our staff to enjoy the same things that I have for almost 50 years. And um, so I, I was absolutely committed to build here. The first thing we had to do was to find a place in Black Forest that was suitable. And that was a huge challenge because there is virtually no commercial property or was none and still is very little available in Black Forest. So that was a mission that I was on for at least 10 years to find out where could we potentially build. And there were no good options. Then there was previously a veterinary hospital here this site used to be treed with such a, a volume of trees that you literally could not see through the forest more than 50 or 60 feet. All of a sudden, the Black Forest Fire of 2013 hit here. That was truly a travesty. 500 plus homes were lost. There were over 15,000 acres burned. And one of those acreages was the one we're sitting at. The fire swept through, everything was burned to the ground. Trees, vet clinic, everything burned to the ground. But the silver lining was that about 2015 or so, I learned who the vet was who owned that clinic. He had moved his practice across the road and. I approached he and his wife and asked them if they planned to rebuild. They said no. I said, well, would you consider selling that property? And they said, yes, we would. 